Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve rational equation. As you can see, we have numbers 1 to 8. We're going to find the value of x in each equation. To start with number 1, we have 5 over 8 minus 3 fourth equals x over 10. So let us have 5 over 8 minus 3 fourth equals x over 10. How do we find the value of x in this rational equation? The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to eliminate the denominator 8, 4, and 10. To do that, we're going to multiply the whole equation by 40, or the least common multiple. Now, if you find any difficulty in finding the least common multiple, you can multiply the whole equation by 8, 4, and 10. That's no problem. So since LCM is 40, we're going to multiply 40 on each term of the equation. So we have 5 multiplied by 40 divided by 8, or 40 divided by 8 times 5. Now, 40 divided by 8, that is 5, times 5 is 25, minus 40 divided by 4 is 10, times 3, that's 30, equals 40 divided by 10 is 4, times x is 4x. 25 minus 30 is negative 5 equals 4x. So to find the value of x, let us divide by 4 the whole equation. So x is negative 5 over 4. Next, number 2, we have x plus 8 over x equals 6. So the denominator here is x. So let us multiply the whole equation by the denominator x. Then multiply x on each term of the equation. We have x times x is x squared. Then x divided by x is 1 times 8. That is 8. 6 times x is 6x. And then we're going to move 6x to the side of x squared plus 8. That is x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. So this is an example of quadratic equation. That means we have two values of x. Now, let us factor x squared minus 6x plus 8. So the factor of x squared is x and x. Now, what are the two numbers that we're going to multiply to 8? And then if you add, we get negative 6. That is negative 4 and negative 2. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. Negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6. So we have negative 4, negative 2. Then let us equate to 0. x minus 4 equals 0. x minus 2 equals 0. Therefore, x is 4 and x is 2. So that will be the value of x. On example number 3, we have x plus 1 over x minus 2 equals 12 over 3. In this example, you simply cross multiply. You simply multiply x plus 1 multiplied by 3 and then x minus 2 multiplied by 12. But in this case, you can you can divide 12 by 3. So I'm going to write x plus 1 over x minus 2 equals 12 divided by 3 is 4. So since we do not have denominator here, I'm going to write x plus 1 and then 4 multiplied by x minus 2. Then I'm going to use distributive property. We're going to have x plus 1 equals 4 times 2 is 4x. 4 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 8. So to simplify our equation, I'm going to move negative 8 to the side of x plus 1. And I'm going to move x to the side of 4x. And then we're going to change sign. So 1, negative 8, that is positive 8. Equals 4x, positive x minus x. So 1 plus 8 is 9. 4x minus x is 3x. Divide both sides by 3. x is 9 divided by 3 is 3. 
So the value of x is 3. On example number 4, we have x squared or 4 over x equals x over 16. We have here 4 over x equals x over 16. So again, we have the same pattern just like number 3 equation. We simply cross multiply. So 4 multiplied by 16 is 64. x multiplied by x is x squared. So in this case, you can square both sides to have the value of x. So let us square. So square root of 64 is positive, negative 8 equals x. So x is 8 and x is negative 8. So this will be the value of x. Or you can use 64 equals x square. You can move 64 on the side of x square. That is x square minus 64 equals 0. And then we're going to factor using factoring. So square root of x square, that is x square root of 64 or numbers that we're going to multiply we get negative 64 if we add we get 0 that is positive 8 negative 8 so x plus 8 equals 0 x minus 8 equals 0 x equals negative 8 and x equals 8 so that will be the value of our x next let's have 4 over 3 fourth or 4 over x minus 3 equals 5 over x plus 2. So let us write first the given. So we have number 5. 4 over x minus 3 equals 5 over x plus 2. Now, so 3, 4, 3, 4 and 5 are just the same. We just simply cross multiply. 4 multiply by x plus 2 equals 5 times x minus 3. Let us use this ability property on each term. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 3, negative 15. Let us combine like terms. I'm going to move 4x to 5 or 5x to 4. It's, that's no problem. And then I'm going to move negative 15 to the side of 8. So that is 8 plus 15 equals 5x minus 4x. 8 plus 15 is 23 equals x. So the value of x is 23. On number 6 example, we have x plus 2 over 3 plus 4 equals x plus 9 over 2. So let us find the value of x in this equation. So as you can see, we have denominator 3 and 2. So the least common multiple is 6. We are going to multiply 6 on each term of the equation. So we have 6 multiplied by x plus 2 over 3 plus 4 times 6 is 24 equals 6 times x plus 9 over 2. And then let us simplify. You can multiply 6 on the binomial and then divide by 3 or you can divide 6 by 3 so 6 divided by 3 that is 2 times x plus 2 plus 24 equals the same with 6 times x plus 9 over 2 i'm going to divide 6 over 2 that is 3 x plus 9 and then simplify first to multiply by x is 2x 2 times 2 is 4 plus 24 equals 3 times x is 3x, 3, 3 times 9, 27. And then 2x, 4 plus 24 is 28 equals 3x plus 27. And then we're going to combine like terms. So again, I'm going to move 27 to the side of 28 and 2x to the side of 3x. Therefore, 28 minus 27 equals 3x minus 2x. So the value of x, x3, x minus 2x is x. 28 minus 27 is 1. Our x is 1. And then on number 7, we have 4 over x plus 8 
over x plus 2 equals 4. So again, if you don't know how what is the least common multiple of x and x plus 2, so you simply multiply them. x times x plus 2. You can have x squared plus 2x. So the least common multiple is x squared and 2x. But this time, let us try if you don't know how to find the least common multiple. So all we have to do is to multiply the whole equation by its denominator, that is x and x plus 2. So what are we going to do? Let us cancel x. And then we have 4 multiplied by x plus 2. Okay? Plus, let us cancel x squared. We're going to have x. 8 times x. And then we have 4. Then multiply each x plus 2. Okay? Next. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 8x. 4 times x is 4x. 4x times x is 4x squared. Then 4x times 2 is 8x. Then we're going to combine like terms. So we have 4x plus 8x. That is 12x plus 8 equals 4x squared plus 8x. I'm going to move 12x plus 8 to the side of 4x squared plus 8x to be equal to 0. 4x squared plus 8x minus 12x from positive it became negative minus 8 equals 0. So 4x squared 8x minus 12x negative 4x minus 8. And then we're going to factor. But before that, what did you notice on our, on our equation? Our equation is factorable by 4. So therefore, I'm go we're going to simplify or we're going to minimize our equation in terms of 4. Or divide the whole equation by 4. We're going to have x squared, then x minus 2 equals 0. Again, we have a quadratic equation. Therefore, we have two value of x. Uh, factor of x squared, that is x. Factor of negative 2, you multiply, you can get 2. Negative 2, that is negative 2 and 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So they have negative 2, positive 1. So x minus 2 equals 0. x plus 1 equals 0. x equals 2. x equals negative 1. So the value of x is 2. And negative 1. On example number 8, we have x over x plus 5 minus 5 over x minus 5 equals 14 over x squared minus 25. So what did you notice on our example? So as you can see, the denominator is x plus 5, x minus 5, and x squared minus 25. If you are going to find the LCM of each denominator, the LCM is x squared minus 25. But how do we do that? For example, if you multiply x plus 5 and x minus 5, we have x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. We cancel this one. x squared minus 25. So meaning to say, the LCM of x plus 5 x minus 5 and x squared minus 25 is x squared minus 25. x squared minus 25 is the same as x plus 5 and x minus 5. So you can use x squared minus 25 or x plus 5 and x times x minus 5 as our LCM. So this time, let us use x plus 5 and x minus 5. You can use any of the two. There is no problem regarding that. So first, let us cancel x plus 5. We're going to have x minus 5 times x. And then minus. We're going to cancel x minus 5 and x minus 5. The remaining is x plus 5 times negative 5. And then, if you multiply x plus 5 times x minus 5, the result is x squared minus 25. 
So you can cancel x squared minus 25 and x squared minus 25. That is 14. Now, let us simplify our equation. x multiplied by x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Then negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Then negative 5 times 5 is negative 25 equals 14. Then x squared minus negative 5x minus 5x negative 10x minus 25 and then equals 14. I'm going to put 14 to the side of x squared minus 10x minus 25. So x squared minus 10x minus 25 minus 14 equals 0. Now let us simplify. x squared minus 10x minus 25 plus 14, that is 39, equals 0. Now, let us factor x squared minus 10x minus 39. So, factor of x squared is x. And then, two numbers that we're going to multiply, we can get negative 39. And if we add, we can get negative 10. So, what are the numbers? So, as you can see, we have negative and positive. So therefore, one is positive and one is negative. But what are the numbers? So the factor of 39 is positive 3 and negative 13. Negative 3 or positive 3 times negative 13 is negative 39. Neg positive 3 plus negative 13 is negative 10. So therefore, we write as positive 3, negative 13. Let us equate to 0. x plus 3 equals 0. x minus 13 equals 0. Therefore, x equals negative 3 and x equals 13. The value of x here is negative 3 and 13.